Here you can see my Prusa printer lay down the first layer of a 3D Benchy from a perspective which follows the nozzle instead of the enclosure or print bed. I started this project as a way to better monitor the print performance of my Prusa printer. Since issues in prints almost always occur early on as the first layer is laid down or when the first layer curls due to temperature. Issues are much less common with the printer enclosure, but I still like to watch the print for issues manually. I couldn't find a camera I liked which did this and also gave a good time lapse view of the entire print. I have another camera in the box with a wide angle lens, and I've played with the position of this camera as well. It's great for a time lapse of a large print since it can clearly show the entire build volume at once, but for small prints or fine inspection it's not adequate. The first step in this build was to select a camera. I bought a cheap USB boroscope camera on AliExpress which had a 3 meter flexible cable with a very small camera at the end. It shows up as a generic USB webcam with a 640 by 480 resolution and the image quality is decent for the price and the physical size of the camera. It also has built-in LEDs to light the scene. The next step was to find a mounting point for the camera on the extruder head. The Prusa i3 Mark IIIs has a tail out the back which holds all of the wiring to the extruder and the hot end. I played with the camera in the tail area and decided on a good location and angle by holding the camera in my hand with the camera feed visible on my laptop. The bottom of the tail bracket normally holds the heater and thermistor wires, but I routed those along the side of the bracket to make room for the camera on the bottom. I then designed and printed a wedge to hold the camera at the right angle. Since the camera has a smooth round body, I lined the camera to the wedge and taped the two together. Once the camera and the wedge were mated together, I cut the zip ties holding the wiring, moved the wiring out of the way, and secured the camera using the zip tie holes already on the Prusa. I then routed the camera's USB cable back through the Prusa's cable sleeve. At this point, the camera worked fine using OctoPie's default webcam server, but I didn't like leaving the LEDs on all the time. To fix this, I wrote a flow in Node Red to turn off USB power on the Pi when OctoPrint commands the printer to turn it on and off. This cuts USB power to the camera and to the printer in addition to the LEDs, so when powering the camera back on I also need to restart the webcam service. I wrote a full tutorial on just this topic and it's linked below. After setting up the camera, I played with Octolabs to include both cameras so I can make cool time-lapse videos of my prints from both angles going forward. Here are some cool prints from both a normal camera view and the nozzle camera view. Feel free to visit my website down in the description for a full write-up on this project as well as other projects of mine.